hi guys welcome back to another video in this video we're going to put uh, bonnet studs um, you can purchase a universal stud for this but uh, I found that um, water style doesn't have any stock I've tried for quite a while so I have to make another plan um, so what I've done guys I've gone to a place called 4x4 direct and they sell these um, struts for canopies um, I'm not sure if it's going to work. Let's try it out. So the only problem I have so far is that this is a 13 mold, 13 millimeter bolt, and the existing, sorry, the existing hole here is a 10 millimeter, so it will not be a direct bolt on. So what I've done is. I've gone to my bolt and nut um, store and I bought this, it's, it's called a ball, um, ball stud, sorry, yeah, it's called a ball stud and this is a 10 millimeter. So to get this here in here is quite simple, you've got a little clip up here, you guys can see, so you just Push that out. And then you slide it down. Then your bolt, your bolt, so your bolt comes out. And then you slide your new bolt in. Um, reverse of what we've just done now. Sorry guys. Let's do this. So it's difficult to do with one hand and secondly guys the price on this um, if you had to buy the universal shock it was about 550 i think or five more or less there um this i paid 100 rand each for there's 200 rand and then i think i paid 30 rand each or 60 rand each so the 650 versus um, 160 a strut is 320 so that's nearly, that's nearly half the price of what I would pay for the universal start at uh, one of these uh, um, stores that you would buy it at. So guys, um, as you guys can see here, I've already put one of the balls in. Uh, let me put the strut in and I will give you the measurements of where you need to mount the strut. Um, yeah. And let's see if it works okay guys it is the next day everything's been installed and i'm ha very happy with the outcome so let me pop the bonnet for you there we go um <laughs> don't mind my spa packet it's just uh, closing up my throttles until i can put filters on them um, so yeah guys, everything's installed, very happy with it. Um, let's take a quick measurement for you guys here. Yeah? Okay, so if we use this um, drain tray, <coughs> the front of the drain tray there as reference, we are, okay, let me get up here. 17 centimeters from that and of this end we are 20 21 and from 17 yes 17 and 21 the difference is obviously because of the shape of the drain tray so both positions are both are, are different positions. The starting point is at different positions. So don't mind that. Uh, so 17 on the left. 
and 21 on the right so guys um, just um, to show you the different options you have I have mounted mine on the side here okay um, the disadvantages of that is the shock makes contact with the train tray um, front of the train tray here clip so I need to bend that on both sides um, if you're gonna do this option you're gonna have to do that the shock is not exactly straight 100% straight it is a slight angle but it's not an issue because this ball starts to move so it gives it uh, enough uh, you, you can mount it at various angles the reason I did that is firstly my fenders keep on constantly come off the car so if I had it mounted up here I would have to take off my shocks and then take off my fenders and my then my bond will be unsupported and secondly I've got the pipes for my wiring running in the fenders and I would have to move the pipe to, to get access for the poles um, okay so I've already mentioned the second option which is mounting it up here drilling a hole straight down through here and putting a nut and bolt there um, that would be my suggestion a cleaner option but as I told you guys the reason I did mine the way I did it's working fine and I'm quite happy with it so let me just give you some details about these shocks just hold on to me okay guys so this this was a sticker on the um, for the strut as you can see it's a gas strut for Kenobi doors it says 368mm but it's actually 410 I think um, I'll leave I'll put a screenshot of the ad in the next frame also it's 150N I think 150N is the strength of the shock I'm not sure 100% sure as I said these struts were one, sorry, 115 each and the ball struts were I think it was 60 inch not 100% sure so that's um, that's way cheaper than buying your alternative which I wouldn't have minded buying but it just wasn't available when I, when I needed it um, yeah guys I'll leave the description I'll, uh, um, the details of the place I bought this one is just in the description below so hope this helps you guys um, let me show you it close quickly there we go close perfectly so I hope this helps someone if you, uh, if you like the video please consider subscri subscribing um, thanks guys for watching and keep safe